Hey YouTube, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life and today's day 21 of the 30 day video challenge. For today's video, I want to show you my seat container shop where I make my knives and do a lot of other stuff. Now this is a bit of a multi-use building. Uh, we use it for, obviously I make knives in here, um, all my tools for other repairs, vehicle maintenance, uh, all my wood tools and uh, building tools that I'm using for building our house. Uh, all our farm projects. This is basically my shop right now. I have a shop building sitting out in the field, but it's not permitted yet, so I can't put it up yet. So for now, this seat container is where I have to do all my stuff. Having said that, it works quite well. I was inspired to do this video by Newman14. Now, he is a knife maker as well. He uh, commented on my channel and I checked out his channel. He's got some great stuff. Makes some really nice knives. And he lives farther north than I do. I mean, I'm in southern Alberta, which to some viewers might be, oh, Canada, you're up north. But he actually lives up in Nunavut. And it's a cool place. I spent a little time in a cowlet, but I've never traveled to Nunavut. And watching some of his like quadding adventures, ATV camping trips. Uh, what neat country he lives in and uh, he did a little video on his micro shop and it's kind of neat I'm gonna put a link to that up here here. I don't know. It's gonna be there somewhere But kind of got me thinking you know what if you're getting into knife making one thing I would like to let you know if you're gonna get into knife making I wouldn't ever let the fact that you don't have a proper shop hold you back um, Some great knife videos. I've seen on YouTube are people working outside they just set up where they have nice weather and go at it. So just to kind of give you an idea, like I can, I feel it's actually quite a functional shop inside of a seat container and you don't need a lot of space to make a knife. So maybe just to kind of show you how I have mine set up and give you some ideas. Don't let uh, a, a small space hold you back. If you'd like to make knives, create things, all kinds of stuff, just use what you have. And so I'm just gonna show you how I've set this place up and tried to adapt it to make it work for me. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll start at the doors here. Basically, we have feed storage for our animals here. Uh, up here, I keep my oxyacetylene torch with a little cart that I made. And there's some kids' toys. We've got some shelving that's just for like, I don't know, random stuff. All our veterinary supplies. That's where I keep my quench oil under there. Um, mostly like boot, muddy boot storage, whatever. And then over on this side, trash can. And that can actually has chicken feed in it and more feed. Coming over here, like I say, I've got like bags of concrete that I need for projects, but they have to stay in here because I don't want them wet. Horse tack, um, coat storage, mm, the saddle, wood storage for my uh, wood burning stove. There's the wood stove I put in and I'll put a link up in the corner. Uh, I have a video when I did that. More random household type storage things. Um, all kinds of weird stuff. We just have to, I have to fill this place up with stuff. Because it's kind of all we have right now. We don't have a garage even. So, uh, upright freezer, um, gun safe. Uh, this is my one of my workbenches where I do most of my Kydex and stuff. Um, basically, I've got my chargers here. I like to keep this as free as possible. Here's a lot of the project knives I have going on. Um, this is usually where I keep my knife stuff that I'm currently working on. All the ones that are finished and like totally done, I keep wrapped up here. I think I've got like five or six knives in there right now. Um, and here I keep some pin material. I keep more pin material up here. Uh, a little stuff for my die grinders and stuff like that. Um, there's a little set, the 12 volt Milwaukee set. This is where I keep all my G10 material and spacer material. I just keep that organized right here, as well as all of my big, uh, packs of abrasives. Once I cut them down to fit my sander, the sanding block I made, I put them in here and because these are cut down to the right size that I need. So these are all the different sanding things. Um, here's my little rivet tool or my little flaring tool for Kydex. Um, generator, chop saw, and then I put this uh, piece of plywood up here just to keep the dust from the belt grinder as much as I can away from this area. Uh, this is my toaster oven where I do my Kydex. I also temper my blades in there and it's actually working fairly well. On the other side of the wall here we have the belt grinder. And uh, I did a video on that. You can check that out. Click that link above. Uh, it's the oscillating spindle sander. Works pretty good. And then I've got storage under here. Uh, keep all my abrasives. 
and some of the vintage tools I collect. This isn't nothing to do with knife making, but I need a place to keep them. Uh, clamps, yada yada. I just got random stuff stored in here, all the place. And then again, a piece of plywood there, so that I can keep the shelving as dust free as I can. Uh, I just put these up today. I've never had a place to hang my belts, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. That's the best way to store your belts. One thing I will say, when you're done with the belts, what I do with mine is I actually roll them up like that and use them for hand sanding. They're pretty handy and there's still a lot left in there. And uh, I find I, it actually makes really good paper for hand sanding. So rather than just toss them, I thought, you know what, I may as well get some extra life out of them. So I save all those and hand sand with them. Okay, so back to this. On this side of this wall, here's the uh, Hydex Press. I've got a video for that. Click the link. Some extra Kydex foam. And here's all my fasteners for uh, making Kydex, all different clips. Um, some random paracord stuff. This is just a mishmash of stuff. Here's all my sharpening tools. Uh, let me leather scrub. Then we've got the pot. I've got some Japanese water stones. Um, got a DC4. And uh, belts for my work sharp. Work sharps up here. Uh, a whole bunch of different types of latex gloves, some gun cleaning equipment, you name it, we have to keep it here. Um, random storage. Here's my granite surface plate. I really like that. Hydraulic gauges. I'm working on old tractors, old uh, this the crawler, the track crawler that I have. You know, something goes wrong, I have to troubleshoot it. I've got a whole lot of hydraulic gauges in this handy. Battery chargers, and then my kids' toolboxes. Then I've got a couple sets. This is the drill driver combo, another drill driver combo. This is a porter cable. That's Milwaukee. Milwaukee skills all, saws all. Um, these are my babies right here. Snap on, uh, cordless impact wrenches. This has 680 braking, uh, foot pounds of braking force. The half inch, I've got the same one and the three eighths. Really solid tools. Solar panel stuff, I got my Dremel kit right there. Um, just a bunch of electrical things. Uh, some woodworking tools. Like I say, I gotta use a lot of this stuff to do a lot of work around here and to build a house, so it's a real mix of things. Got my carpenter's bag. Here's my just random house maintenance bag. With how few tools are in there, it's amazing what I can get done. Welding helmet, workout gear. Here's my collection of Swedish axes. I've got two Grand Spores Brooks and these little guys are Wetterlings. I like these axes. Here's where I keep all my uh, scale material that's wood. Um, different types of wood, uh, pieces and stuff like that. I just put that shelf up today, so nice to have that kind of tidied up. This is where I keep most of my bar stock and long things like clamps. This is a huge uh, three quarter inch drive breaker bar. Tubing pipes, you name it. Actually, this is my very first knife making jig for hand filing the blades or yeah hand filing the bevels and blades that's this was part of the jig i didn't know i still had that um and then this is where i keep all my stock this is my O1 one tool steel stock i'm down to like four pieces so i'm gonna order some more soon but basically just a little place where i can keep all my stock material and uh got my grinders and then this is where the power comes in to the sea can. I've just got some grunt, like some waterproof connectors there and I bring it all to here. And then I bring 220 for the air compressor. 60 gallon works great. Um, I've got this Costco special. This thing actually works really good. I'm quite happy with it. For the longest time I had it on the ground and it was driving me nuts because every time I needed it, I had to move my welder. So today I hung it up there. I also made a place to hang all my extra hoses my bug out bag, my other emergency bag, my haversack for bird hunting, and my hunting bag. You can check a video for that up in this corner. And then this shelf here is just a random assortment of building materials, all kinds of weird storage. I've got like pot lights up there. This is the storage box for egg incubator because we're incubating some eggs right now. Um, this thing is a tarp for the kids trampoline cover for it. Under there we've got a chainsaw with a, uh, you know, the gas oil, like chainsaw oil mix thingy. All my ammo storage here, and this goes back quite a ways. There's a lot of ammo stored right here. 
I'm not going to say exactly how many rounds, but several, several thousand rounds of all different types of ammo. Good times. And then under here, just more random storage. You've got the uh, shop vac, toolbox, you know, whatever. And then over here, this is where I keep my hearing protection that's specific for shooting. Shooting hearing protection only. Here's my toolbox. Now, this is my small toolbox um, at my dad's shop. I've got my regular work toolbox, which was a Mac unit, and it's like seven feet long, and it's gorgeous. This is a whole Mac from Costco, whatever. It works, it's got tools, all the tools I need in it, um, yada yada. I put that shelf up today so I could get more aerosol storage and stuff like that, because that's the stuff that just drives you nuts. Not stuff I need all the time, so I put it right up to the roof, but it's out of the way and I know where it is now. And this is more of the aerosol type stuff that I need quick access to, um, starting fluid, adhesives, different sprays, epoxies, all the clamps that I use for knife making are up there, as well as all the drill bits I use are up there. I've also got this whole drawer, it's pretty much just different types of drill bits, you name it. I've got a lot of drill bits, this whole drawer is drill bits, but these are the ones that I need the most. And this is a little bench I made, mostly just to put the uh, drill press on, I have some tool storage under there. Those are all like pneumatic staplers, air nailers. There's my main construction bag when I'm building stuff. And then this is the other bench. This was the first bench I put in here. This is my little sand blaster. I pull that and just set up on top when I need it. Um, we got a first aid kit there, tape, uh, and then just random fasteners and stuff. All kinds of stuff. We've got hockey parts for the helmets and whatnot to electrical, string, Water parts for a well, batteries, blah, 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 you name it. I kind of like to be organized. There's a lot of stuff that's just kind of in a schmozzle, but like under there, like I've got solar panels and I've got motor oil and garbage bags and rags. I don't know where else to put that stuff. I'm kind of limited here, but some of the other clamps I use quickly. Um, any manuals I have or paper for making knives, templates, stuff like that's all up there. Uh, O-rings that I use for my... Uh, uh, O-rings, I've got custom ear, ear protection in here, matches to light my wood stove, and that's about it. So, kind of looking down the long end of the sea can, this is what it looks like. It's a busy little place. There's a lot going on, but uh, I spent most of the today building some of these shelves and some of these organizers and dividers and stuff. So now everything is kind of has a spot. If you were to ask me where any of this stuff was, the thought is that I could now tell you so anyways that's pretty much it uh, like I say if you have any other specific questions go ahead and ask I'll, I'll answer what I can and uh, you know if you want to get into making knives um, building stuff even like I've, I've been taken by a lot of these like just make like one cool channel I just found on YouTube was like I think it's, I like to make stuff uh, I'll put a link to it but you know, just, it's so much fun. You know, the one of the most valuable tools you have is these things, your hands, right? And the more you make stuff, the more you learn to use these better. And it's so much fun. So I wouldn't ever let a lack of a dedicated space stop you. If you want to build knives, if you want to build Kydex stuff, if you want to build wood stuff, go ahead and do it. I'd be so glad you did. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my sea container shop. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.